Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench.com. This video is about how to install App Inventor into Ubuntu 12.04. App Inventor is, uh, used to be run by uh, Google, but now it's run by MIT. Uh, and it'll create programs for you to use on an Android, Android type phone. So the outcomes for this would be you check your Java version on your desktop, make sure you have the correct Java version, test your Java configuration, download and install App Inventor software, the Debian version, and create projects folder using Nautilus and download resource files for your App Inventor Hello Pro projects. This is simply a Hello World project just to make sure that everything's working. And then create a Hello Pro program using the Android emulator. An emulator is simply a phone on your desktop instead of an actual phone that you're connecting to. Requirements, Oracle Sun Java and this case would be using 1.7 instead of 1.6 because 1.6 has some security problems and doesn't work well with the latest uh, Firefox web browser. You will need a Google account and of course you need to have some speakers in order to hear the sound. And yes, Ubuntu 12. Additional info, App Inventor setup is a page, App Inventor page. This is where we get the, how to do the Hello World program or Hello Program program and if you want to run your own server for App Inventor this site gives you some information on how to do that. Before installing App Inventor let's go over some of the requirements. One of these is that you have to have a Google account. The reason for this is the Google account allows you to access the web-based tools of App Inventor. Another thing that you need to check is what version of Java you should ha you have on your machine. In this case, we'll open up a terminal. And if you look at the App Inventor setup, one requirement is that your computer needs to run Java 1.6. Now, I've tested with Java 1.7, and it seems to be working. And the version of Java that they want actually want is the one from uh, Oracle or Sun, the, or formerly known as Sun because uh, uh, Sun was purchased by Oracle, and not the open Java development kit or not the open JDK. So let's go and check on the terminal what version of Java we have. And to do that, you simply go Java-version. And in this case, Java version 1.7. And this one is Java runtime environment. In this case, this is the Oracle Java. So that meets this requirement, uh, although it doesn't meet the 1.6, but it is in that same vein. It is a Oracle Sun version. The other thing that we're going to have to do here, let's close this, is it asks you to do some tests right here. It, says it has to pass these two tests, Java test page and App Inventor uh, Java test. Now, when I use this Java test page, if my browser has just started up or has not been sitting around uh, running for about 10 minutes, it will crash on me. I don't know why, but this one's good. So, but if it crashes on you, don't worry about it. And it says your Java is working. So let's go back. And the other thing is, is check on this link. As I stated previously, don't worry if, if um, Firefox crashes on you, restart it and forget about the Java test page as long as this link works. Click on this link, launch, and this should open up a uh, notepad type of uh, web start application. This is a notepad web start application. Now, if you want to know how to, I've made a previous video on how to install uh, Java, the Sun Oracle type, and to actually uh, set up the web browser uh, so that it, it runs with Java. And that's what actually took up more of my time than the actual installation of, of the uh, Java into Ubuntu. So let's just close this. So we're ready to go and install. The next step is to go back. And we passed our tests. And since we're Ubuntu, we're going to click on 
to instructions for GNU Linux. So let's click on this. And Ubuntu is a Debian package, so we need to uh, download the Debian package. So we'll download the App Inventor installer for the Debian package. Click on it. And we can either download or we can also open it with a software center and that, that will work fine and it's going to install it. So let's just click OK. After it gets to the end here, sometimes you may have to click App Inventor Setup and sometimes it just opens uh, straight up to the uh, Ubuntu Software Center. And you just sit there and let it go on. And App Inventor Setup will, will uh, show up like this. And then all you have to do is click on Install. And it will ask for authentication. So let's let it install. And that's pretty much it for the install. Let's close this. Let's close everything. Well, I'm going to keep this open, but let's let's close this also. We don't need this, and we don't need. The, we're going to be coming back to this in a second, but let's let's go take a look and see where it's installed, and we'll just take a look at the terminal, and we'll go to cd usr user and do an ls and the cd google do an ls. And there's App Inventor. And if you really want to go check it, do an ls. And you want to make sure that the commands for App Inventor uh, directory is there. And that's pretty much it for the install. Since App Inventor is installed, let's go down and build our first program. In order to do this, we're not going to build up a program with an Android form, but we're going to uh, build a first app with a, uh, an Android emulator. So let's click on here. Uh, emulator is simply a phone that shows up on your computer. This basically this sets, gives you a set of directions. What I would recommend for you to do, rather than clog up your screen with uh, three different uh, things, that you copy uh, or print out these directions. And we've got our computer set up. We've got it installed. And to build, and we're going to do a, uh, instead of a hello world, we're going to do a hello pro program, in which case is kitty meows when you click on it. And to do that, we're going to download some resource files, and we're going to ha ha uh, download these two files. But before we download those, let's, let's keep everything uh, set and create a projects directory. So let's open Nautilus uh, Launcher here. And... Let's go to desktop. Let's create a new folder here in the desktop. Right click, new folder. And we're going to call this App Inventor. And inside App Inventor, we're going to create a new folder. And we're simply going to call it Hello Per. And so let's download these two. And we'll right click and we'll click Save Link As. And instead of the downloads, we'll just go to Desktop, open it, App Inventor. Oops, I didn't give it that name. Actually, let, let's just go back to App Inventor and create a folder and, and we'll call it Hello Perl. And hit enter this time. So now we have this hello per. We can go back and delete this other one, but and we'll click save here. So that's download. And for the meow sound, we're going to do another save link as, and it's going to go back to uh, hello per, and we're going to save it. And if we want to check and see what we got in here. Here are our two uh, kitty png and meow. Here are our two files. So let's close that. And so we've got that. In your web browser, go to this site, mit.edu. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Invent. And of course, it asks that you sign in. In this case, I'll put in my name. and sign in. Never remember password for this site. And I've got a number of test things here. So I'm going to go back to my projects and I'm going to make a new project and I'm going to call it hello per. Click OK. And if I've copied everything, then I go to this project and if I printed out the directions I would just simply go to my page and uh, follow directions on the page which says we're going to use a button drag a button over here uh, and a button component is located under palette and we'll click make sure that with the button selected under image right here we're going to add and we're going to browse over to uh, desktop app inventor hello per and we're doing kitty open and click OK and let's get rid of the text kitty shows up get rid of the text so the next step that we're going to do is let's make this a little bit smaller so that I can don't need that so I can open a box blocks editor now this is going to work very slowly uh, in this case it says open with uh, and you should already have this set it should uh, this is part of setting up the web browser as part of the Java install. It should be, be opening with a Java web start. And do this automatically with files like this from now on. And we'll just simply click OK. And it's downloading this application, which is a web start. And it's going to ask that permission to run. Click run. I'm going to close that just to. Get that out of the way. So this is the blocks editor. I'm going to move that over here a little bit so that we can switch back and forth without too much problem. So let's start the emulator. So we're going to create an emulator. It's going to be a look like a phone. I'm going to click on this. Create a new emulator. And starting the emulator. Please be patient because this takes a few minutes. It says two or three minutes. It may take more. Here's the emulator. But here we click OK and the emulator and before we connect to the device we have to wait for this thing to fully load. So again it's going to take a couple of minutes for it to fully load. Okay so now this is fully loaded. You can actually open it now if you want to. Well it's not connected so let's, let's click on connect to device and emulator 5554. That's this right here. You can actually run more than one emulator if you have the memory. So let's click on this. Now you notice this right here. Uh, this is yellow. When this turns green, then the emulator is connected. So we're going to have to wait uh, for the connection to happen. Okay, now it's turned green. So that that works. So let's. I'm going to bring this over here, and actually, I'm going to put it up so that part of it is. Well, I'll just put it up so part of it's showing. And then we're going to open up the phone, just like we. And there's our kitty application. So, but it's not making any sound when we click on it. So, in order to do that, let's go back over here, and we're going to look for um, media, and sound, and we're going to add sound. Now it's a non-visible component. It drops down here. We make sure that sound is 
selected. Now it says none for source. And in this case, we're going to add browse and meow. Click on open and click OK. So now let's go over to our uh, My Blocks. Click on My Blocks in the uh, Blocks editor, and you got My Definitions button one, screen one, and sound one. So let's click on sound one, and we got sound one, play, button one. So we bring this over here. When button one is clicked, what do we want it to do? We want to play the sound. Sound one, play. So when that button, which is actually the picture of the kitty, then the sound should play. Now, since all these three are interconnected, once I click on the kitty, if ever I've done everything out right, the sound should play. And if that's not loud enough, we can also turn the sound up here. Okay. So that essentially is how you install App Inventor and create your first program. As I stated, uh, the directions are all with App Inventor. Uh, this is just a quick way to it. Thank you, and I uh, hope you invent some good uh, software.